with a substantive response to the search report. This is always useful. Uh, then proceedings in writing will follow. You will possibly or most probably see further actions and can file further responses. Interviews will be granted before the EPO only via the phone, but uh, you have always the chance to request oral proceedings, which are a quite formal thing uh, before three examiners and with a decision at the end of the oral proceedings, which, which can be a rejection. So take care. Um, are amendments after intention to grant still possible? Yes, in principle they are still possible until grant, but um, they can uh, mean a reset of the examination, which would, well, stretch the timeline of the whole thing. Next issue, divisionals. On the first hand, divisionals are a kind of total reset for search problems. Um, for example, for an incomplete PCT search or uh, for non-searched amended claims, you always have the chance to get to jump into a divisional and then the whole th thing will start again. But uh, many clients, an increasing number of clients, let me say, uh, uses divisionals also as a means for improving the original claims, for, Im for obtaining better claims in view of more recent technical or economical developments. In any case, there is no way to extend uh, the original disclosure basis, as Mr. Vaidia has mentioned for India, and of course there is a quite high cost burden with divisionals. Moreover, today there are some problems with time limits uh, with the EPO, um, which time limits have been introduced some years ago only. Uh, and uh, for these uh, time limits, you have to differentiate between voluntary divisionals, which the applicant wishes to make, and between mandatory divisionals, uh, which have to be made upon request of the examining division. This is troublesome and uh, requires very careful docketing of the file. This will disappear from April 1st. This year, from April 1st, the time limits for divisionals will disappear for all pending applications at that point of time. So no different handling of mandatory and voluntary divisionals will be required any longer. Uh, it may and it will happen that for divisionals of the second and further generations, additional fees will become due. So let me summarize these uh, recent developments, as we call them U-turns of the EPO. First, the EPO is offering additional searches for PCT-derived European applications. This provides a better basis to decide which claims to pursue and at lower budget. Second issue is cancelling the time limits for filing divisionals. This provides more freedom to get all valuable claims granted for a certain invention on a much longer timeline. Hence, these are improve, important uh, improvements which count uh, for your clients and for our clients. Nevertheless, <laughs> significant differences in the USPTOs and other IPOs search and examination procedures survive, remain. We will, we will never see an EPO which follows uh, the uh, procedural practice of these other important uh, patent offices. Uh, just a few conclusions for filing in Europe. Um, take care to use a logical hierarchical claim structure. Avoid or delete when entering the European regional stage too many independent claims, in particular when they are in US style. If multiple independent claims are required, argue for one invention, preferably already in the specification. Connect features of dependent claims to as many independent claims as possible to have more freedom for claim amendments before the EPO. Avoid lengthy and complex explanations of embodiments. Better 
describe separated, isolated aspects of the invention as you are used to do it with, with US draftings. Add some generalizing wording to the introductory portion of the specification so to have an option to, to even broaden your claims with respect to the originally filed claims. This is possible before the EPO, but you have to have an original disclosure basis, therefore. And finally, make sure to have money for additional search fees and for divisionals. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you so much.